What you want to mount that rifle is off the shoulder, inside this shoulder socket. You don't want it out here. You don't want it out on your arm. What that does, if you get it out here in any, any of this, these places, as you're levering, you're going to get movement into the rifle. So what you want to do is get that rifle to the inside of that shoulder socket. What that does is allow you to lever the rifle and the butt to stay still. And what you want to do with your left hand, so you got the rifle mounted correctly, with your left hand, you don't want it up here. You want to get that left hand out as far as possible. The further you get that out, the stiller you can keep the nose of the rifle. And that's the whole point is to try to get on that sight fast. So what you want to do is get that hand out here as far as you can. I personally come out with my finger and thumb is, is pointed and I'm holding it like this. And that's just pointing down the barrel, same as with that pistol. It's, it's helping me point toward the target. And I'm using this finger to apply pressure. So I can apply pressure and that gun will stay still. So I'm sitting here like this. Now I can lower that rifle and keep that nose still. Now there's a couple of different ways of levering, uh, three actually. One is with three fingers in where you lever. One's two fingers in and you lever. And the other that you see a lot is people leaving a thumb on the side. Now I can tell you from experience and, and from a lot of shooters I talk to that are very quick, leaving that thumb on the side is going to give you a speed limit. It's faster to either have, to have your hands in and keep the thumb off the side. And another disadvantage of that thumb, if you get hung up a little bit, what you're going to do is cause side pressure because you're pushing it against the side of your gun so you can cause a little movement in the rifle as you're levering. It's better to keep that thumb down and, and straight as you're levering. You know, two fingers is fine, you can do it with two, or you can do it with three. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I use three, that's where I started. I might go to two if, uh, if I was starting over, but I'm comfortable with what I'm doing, so I stay with three. Now one of the things, as you're levering, you want to get that elbow down. If you've got that elbow up, what happens as you're levering, you'll go have a tendency to put side pressure on the gun again, and you'll get this sway motion. If you keep that elbow down, you're going to be able to lever right straight down the gun and keep that thing from swaying back and forth. If you're levering too hard against it and bringing it up, the gun's going to bounce up and down. So there again, you want to apply pressure, keep your elbow down, and then you're going to be able to just run the gun fast. Now a simple drill for this that will really help you and will teach you where that sweet spot is, is simply dry fire the gun at a single spot on the wall in the house. Pick a light socket, pick anything. What you'll find, bring the gun out here, you'll see it moving. Bring your elbow up, you'll see it moving. The whole point of this drill is to try to keep the nose of the gun and that front sight as still as possible and on that spot you're trying to hit. And what you'll do, as you bring that gun up, you'll learn that sweet spot. If the gun is swaying back and forth, you're putting side pressure on the lever. If that sight's bouncing up and down, you're hitting it too hard. By set, sitting here at one spot and just, just working the gun like that, You'll learn where the sweet spot is, how much pressure you need to hold, and where that elbow needs to be to where you can keep the gun still. So that's the proper way to mount and use a rifle. So practice those routines and see what works best for you, and just start dry firing or go to the range and start shooting.